today, we're going to cover the topic of knowing God and hearing His voice. This is one of the most crucial elements of our maturity in Christ, and it's our lifeline in terms of discovering our identity and our calling. As followers of Jesus, we won't know His unique purposes for our lives if we're not listening to His voice of affirmation, direction, and love. This one summer when I was in Pittsburgh, the YWAM missionaries were sitting us down and teaching us what it meant to hear the voice of God. And actually, I kind of laughed at them. I thought that that was a really stupid thing that they were teaching, that God could talk to us. I remember thinking, I grew up in church and I grew up in Christian school and I went to chapel every Wednesday and I memorized all these scriptures. And if God could talk to me, then I think I would know. Wouldn't I know that? I mean, I would, I would have learned that at one point in my life. And they said, well, why don't you just give it a try? Why don't you go outside, sit down with a Bible and just ask God a simple question. Say, God, what do you think of me? And just sit in silence and see what God says. So I dragged my feet outside and on a hot summer day, I sat down next to a dumpster in the middle of a parking lot. And I remember looking up to the sky and just asking God this question, God, what do you think of me? And almost immediately, God spoke to me and he said, Mark 1.17. So I opened my Bible and it was the verse where Jesus was calling his disciples and he was saying, come, follow me and I will teach you to be a fisher of men. At that moment, something clicked in my heart. All the things that I had learned about God, all the scriptures I had memorized, all the Bible stories and church services and all that stuff, finally had actual application in my life. Like, it actually started to matter because God was real and I could interact with Him. So hearing His voice that day changed everything for me. So that was my experience, but God speaks to us in the way that He created us to hear His voice. Some of us are very poetic and creative visual thinkers that God speaks to us through images and songs and poetry. Others find him in creation and the sciences, seeing the intricacies of his workmanship and all the things he's made in nature. As we read the Bible and enter into conversation with the communities around us, we'll find that if we're listening for the voice of God, he has a lot to say.